dreamed of a little home for me. I played pretend between the trees and fed my house gas, sparkling leaves, and laughed in my pretty bed of green. song <clears throat> which is about me when I when I uh, first moved to Los Angeles I just went to all these like house parties and stuff and uh, I ended up always just like sitting by myself like in a corner or like under a bush or something really creepy <laughs> um, so this is my wallflower song about finding a wallflower friend <laughs> You see me standing there in the corner I was alone I always am at these big parties Watching you, watching everybody Wishing I was more outgoing Wishing I was dressed up pretty sees me wall flower by myself please excuse first songs that I ever like started to put, do looping to. First, I was trying to loop my guitar and I got really frustrated because I was bad at looping my guitar. I didn't know what to do with it. So I wanted to actually return this thing. Um, but, uh, but I was one day late. I didn't really have like a bridge for the song. So I was like, why don't I loop something cool and um, I think I was f listening to Sufjan Stevens at the time, so like he does a lot of like really nice ooh harmonies and stuff, and so I try to do something simple and haunting in that way. I 
lived it well as many tales I lived to tell I'm ready now I'm ready now I'm ready now And like I love singing in choirs and I was like I could like harmonize with myself and stuff so that's essentially why I brought this into my life I had a dream Thank you. I started singing because um, of my mom. She sang, and she'd have me sing in church and stuff. And I'd, you know, sing songs at Christmas time and stuff. And um, <clears throat> I guess that's when I sort of realized that I, I really like singing and I could do it. I was gonna go to college because that's what I thought I was supposed to do next and that's what all my friends were doing and stuff. Um, but then uh, the teacher from the college I was gonna go to said don't come to college. <laughs> um, and, he, and he told me like you should seriously like take this time that you have and this freedom that you have to, to pursue music as a career, so writing your songs and playing your guitar and stuff. And uh, and that one phone call like totally changed my life and I decided not to go to school and and I just went out there and I did it and I really I started to take it seriously and, and, and work at it. I remember the day that I actually left home. It was a school day, so my brother was in school. I had to say goodbye to him the night before. And my dad had work, so I had to say goodbye to him the night before, too. And when I woke up, it was just me and my mom. And uh, it was really, uh, it was just really sad. <laughs> and there was snow on the ground, and she was all bundled up um, in her little jackets. And she's like, you know, a little tiny Asian woman. <laughs> and uh, I just remember hugging her. And, saying goodbye and like we just really connected in that moment because my mom and I used to fight all the time. <laughs> we didn't really have that much in common um, and in that moment it seemed like really special and like we just made something together that never really happened before. I knew like for music it was either New York, LA or Nashville and I didn't really want to move to Nashville and, and, and I was terrified in New York so I came out here. It was pretty awesome when I heard that, that Blue Note wanted to sign me because um, for like the past, I don't know how many years, like I guess since I've been in LA, I've always said to myself like if I'm going to sign a record deal with anyone, I I, I would choose Blue Note just because I, I like their artists and I believe in like how they make records. Um, and I, I just think they do things differently from other record labels. But anyway, I, I was super excited about it. And it's just funny, I feel like I sort of manifested it because I, I thought about it a lot. <laughs>